Well hello and welcome to Bobo Bun. I'm Lisa, a vintage inspired dressmaker and dressmaking teacher. In today's chat I want to share with you a jacket that I have been pattern cutting. I'm halfway through making it, I'm absolutely thrilled about it. So I want to show you that, talk through some of the process. I had thought I could film sewing but I just got so engrossed in the whole For process. Time now I've wanted to make um, a thick corduroy jacket. I think I showed you the cord a few videos ago, maybe even the last one to be honest so I probably flagged up my urge to make this jacket one then. of the ladies in my sewing club was using the same black cord and it just felt so lush and I've seen various um, 1940s um, ladies jackets in corduroy and I just knew I wanted to recreate one for myself but something along the lines more of American late 40s sportswear jacket that's the type of thing you know a waist length so let's call it you know vintage inspired 1940s style sort of denim jacket you know that kind of look I'm going for so I'll show you the pictures that I um, drew out this is my jacket idea so I wanted here. yokes I wanted gathers into the yokes and pointed collar waistband I wanted sleeves that um, gather into the cuff and for the back I wanted the collar to just point down slightly mirroring the back yoke that pointed down. I was considering gathers in the back and I made two backs and I preferred the flat back so that's this what I've done. This 1940s jacket that I've always loved they think it's um, by Victor Stiebel but part of the utility um, clothes I've given the designers names part of the the group of designers that worked on the utility you know the CC41 um, clothes but it's this blue air force um, one it's very much like the army jackets the men wore with the waistband that comes round and um, buckles to the side I really liked that idea I mean I've seen this jacket for years and years it's always been in my head and I just love how the blue goes with the navy wool skirt and then that pop of um, deep blood red you know with the pussy bow and the hat I mean it's a fabulous look and I liked the um, breast pockets I'm thinking I'm not going to put any pockets on. I still haven't decided. I really need to make my mind up pretty soon, but I don't think I'm going to go with pockets. I just don't want extra. I'm quite busty and I just don't want extra oomph on that front. I started bit. off along the lines of that type of jacket, but I didn't want um, very much a shirt collar lapel. I wanted just a pointed um, collar, you know, that, that meets, you know, just overlaps for buttoning down the front. So it was a mix of coming from that style. Um, um, a friend of mine owns a House of Foxy tweed jacket and I looked at those styles. So it, it's um, mirroring all of these type of images. That, that's what's playing around in my head. Plus I have a friend who's got a Bowden short corduroy jacket and hers had very gathered poof on the sleeves, which is sort of 40s and 70s kind of sleeve head so I knew that's where I was going with the sleeve head so I'm putting a V in the back I'm having yokes I'm having gathers um, and I thought well I need a bishop sleeve so I can gather that into the cuff I'm not doing um sleeve plackets you know so you can undo them it's just unnecessary so I'm doing a whole wristband round but I'm going to do a false sort of opening so it will have a little um, diamond with a button over so it looks like you could open it but you can't so that's where I was going with all of my design you know in these raised sleeve heads obviously you had to open up the sleeve head now that leads on to the next thing that is all very well having these ideas but how do you make it into a pattern years I've been teaching myself pattern cutting I have read loads of books YouTube watched... tutorials um, the closet historian and Charlotta's pattern cutting really really helpful to me um, in learning and then it was a case of just trying everything out you know and each thing I did the penny dropped a bit more I thought ah I get this now I get this now um, and I think it's one of those things you know I, I don't want people to think oh that's that's great you can design your 
your own patterns. This comes from me having put in a lot of the time to learn the skills and I just wanted to share with you that it's possible for us all to learn those skills. This is after me sewing for about 40 years of my life, you know, um, proper dressmaking sewing. So as I've gone through, my process was I knew how to sew. You know, I learned how to sew and I worked out what patterns were on about, but things didn't fit me. So I learned fitting skills oh, to yeah. adapt a pattern to fit my body. And then I'm confident with pattern hacking, you know, using different parts of patterns. And I think once you start pattern hacking, that's the start of your uh, movement towards learning pattern cutting because you start to understand how all the pieces you know you have bits you have to alter how you get different patterns to work with each other and the more I sewed like this jacket I'm making I've made so many different styles of jacket you start understanding the pattern pieces that you need and the techniques to make that shape work and then you move forward to me learning the pattern cutting and I finally got to the stage where I'm totally confident with pattern cutting. I understand it. I mean, I feel cutting this jacket is the pinnacle of me understanding it because, you know, I've made yokes, I've made sleeves, I've made collars, I, I've made the facings, you know, it's a self-faced jacket. I've made all the elements. This isn't um, me doing that big head at the moment. This is me doing, a, I'm just really, really proud of myself that I got it. I, I understand it. And obviously that benefits all my students. The more I learn, the more I can share with them and convey with them. On my Patreon, I love to share the pattern cutting. Um, the moment you learn pattern cutting, you can create whatever you want to wear. You're saving money on buying patterns. You have a lot of fun creating them. some of my ideas and my designs with my um, patrons over at Bobo Bun Sewing Club. And as I say to them, you know, like all teachers, I'm just one step ahead of you in this process, you know. So I'm learning and refining my skills. I don't share things with them that I don't know aren't 100% right, that I haven't worked out, but that's what I do. I, you know, it's part of my creative um, exploration as well through my Patreon and sharing it with my patrons. So, you thinking? Stop talking, Lisa, show us the jacket. I've got the toile here on Foxy Lady. I've got two sleeves in the toile. I've got the raised head and the actual um, one I've got in my jacket, I've raised this head even more so it stands even more proud. And this one I just did a normal setting sleeve. I wanted to see what I thought of both. Um, and I'm trying to think which one. No, that one's the more raised head, silly me. That's just like slightly gathered. This is the bishop sleeve one that's gathered. <laughs> And then you can see the gathers in here with the yoke. Then if I turn Foxy round, that's the V on the back and the V on the back yoke. And I did draw here some lines where I thought I was going to open up the pattern and gather it, which I did do, I tried it on and I didn't like it. And then it's cropped to the waist and I've got a little waistband on. So I think I'm gonna try this on for you and then I'll show you where I'm at with, um, my corduroy the camera at this funny angle so you can see more of the jacket and you can see where it finishes. I've got a longer blouse on but this is my waistline here. So I've added ease to my bodice. I've got the gathers in here. The sleeve I've set back slightly so I've had to, I rotated that round. I didn't quite follow the grain line on it stupidly. Self facing going in here. And I changed the collar slightly. I mean, this is the shape of the collar. I've cut the seam allowance off so I could see it. But I've actually done it, um, I've raised it up slightly. That's the beauty of doing a toile. You can work out the things you want. So I've raised it up by a centimetre and a half. And I've sewn the collar on my jacket so it'll come to these points. But I tried it on and I just loved how those gathers radiate down. I'm tempted to maybe just do some little gentle gathers just below those on the um, front waist if I turn round so you can see the back. Bit of a squish squeeze with Foxy and I in here. I've just popped the jacket on here. Now you can see I haven't sewn this sleeve, what's this, the left hand side sleeve in or sewn that side. But I've got my collar on and I've got this sleeve in here. I think I have to put something underneath just to hold up that beautiful raised sleeve head. Um, absolutely thrilled with the collar and the front and you can see how those gathers 
come down from the yoke. I've done the under collar and I'll show you some other bits with this glorious pink roses. I have made a dress in this and it's in one of my YouTube videos somewhere and I didn't really wear the dress so I took it apart and I'm using it for other things. So inside I've edged the facings with this. I've made bias um, binding from this fabric. I'm going to do Hong Kong seams on the side and the sleeves because the cord just phrase terribly and I obviously wanted them on the side seams normally I wouldn't bother doing the sleeves I just overlock but I just want to stop any loose threads um, coming out and it working its way out and then I've done the front yoke which the facing is attached into and if I show you here the back yoke as well is lined in this glorious pink roses so that's also nearly I burritoed the shoulder seams I just love all the techniques you have with sewing I get excited about oh I'll do this and the other so I did write a construction order as well just to remind myself of the bits you know and the problem solving of how do I do that bit how do I do the next bit if I turn it around to the you back you can see that V but on black it is sometimes hard to see um, and then I've got the bottom the bottom of the cuff is got to be gathered into the cuffs again they've got um, pink underneath and, and the cord outside the same for the waistband I've top stitched all of the collar um, to keep it in place as well as having cut the under collar smaller so that it rolls in and I did a lot of hand stitching just to stitch that seam in. My hand stitching isn't that tidy but I don't think you'll pick it up on I here. popped on the jacket, this is actually the first time I've put on my corduroy version and I was just thinking, I didn't say, because I decided to do the collar right to the edge here that means I will have more of the lapel because I'll have a natural break point here and then buttons going down but yeah, really, really thrilled. And I just need something to support this lovely sleeve head. I am super, super thrilled with how this is working. You know when you have an idea and then you see it happen. I was trying to find uh, the right buttons for it, so I went in one of my button tins and I had a wrinkle around and I thought these ones would be rather spectacular because they're a little bit shiny. I'll just try and hold them up like that for you so you can see how they they sparkle and they shine so I'm going to put those buttons on I've got a few um, of those so just enough to pop on my jacket I'm get on with finishing this jacket and when we meet again here next time I will show you the finished jacket of course I am sure it will be making an appearance on Instagram because I won't be able to keep quiet about it I've planned the next chat we have is definitely going to be about knitting um, I know sewing is my main focus. I have my own business teaching sewing classes um, in real life and on Patreon. And yet my knitting videos are always most popular, but then we all love to knit, don't we? And I've got some really lovely knitting things to share with you. Um, so that will be next time. And we will be in the season, won't we, by then? It will be December, it will be the festive season. So that's always a lovely, lovely time of year as far as I'm concerned. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's inspired you to have a go. Try and learn. Um, you don't have to go on a course. I was thinking, oh, I want to go on the London College of Fashion courses. This was a few years ago, but actually I've managed to crack it on my own. So have a go at pattern cutting. It really does open out the possibilities. It's such, such fun. Um, it's it's just amazing fun and yeah then you get to wear the things that you really really picture in your head. If you miss my chats please subscribe there's uh, the button that you can press at the end of this video um, comment like share tell people I'm here because I love having you join me and your comments mean so much to me it's such fun creating the videos for you so until we meet again goodbye and have a happy happy sewing and knitting time